Okay. So um, I am first going to go over the syllabus with you. And you will notice um, when you go over the assignment instructions document specifically that this class is structured differently than it was last semester for, since the majority of you did have me for 201. One of the major changes is that we are meeting only once a week. Okay, so this is called a hybrid class, which if you had me for last semester, I mean, you know that I had all the resources out on Blackboard that I do actually even in my online classes, but everything that we did in class basically was available online. So the main difference um, for this semester is that the lectures will be watched outside of class. <laughs> okay, and so what we, we will meet um, one day a week on Tuesday, and we will go over homework and answer any questions. And I'm going to show you, I'm, I will be available, um, even though we're not meeting on Thursday, but I will be available on a regular basis, okay, through, I'll show you Blackboard I am, and I can open up a Blackboard Collaborate session, which is where we could actually meet um, in an online meeting if we need to. So that is the main difference is that all of the lectures are recorded and they are all available and you are responsible for watching them prior to coming to class. Okay, so I'm going to go over all of that in more detail, but that really is the main um, difference. Okay, so if you want to go ahead and open up, I, I'm assuming pretty much everybody is already in Blackboard. Okay, so when you first log on to Blackboard in my course, the announcements is where you will, the starting point. Okay, so any announcements, um, reminders of exams and uh, whatever, you know, certain assignments that are coming up will be listed in the announcements section um, right now. Whoops, well, this thing not. Let me see if this is working over here. Okay. So there is a video introduction to the class if you want to watch, you know, recorded video of the different areas of the course. Um, there's some information on SmartBook and free trial. Probably everybody in the class, um, well, if you took me for 201, you have the text. I know you have the correct text. And then did you purchase the text yet? Okay. So information is in the syllabus on, on how to purchase the text. Um, but there is a free trial. So if for some reason you couldn't purchase a text right away, you can use the free trial for, I believe it's available for three weeks. Okay, so then if you click on the Getting Started link, um, you'll see the same uh, introduction video to the course. And there's also a getting started guide, so you can open that. It basically just shows you the different areas of the course, which I'm going to show you um, right now. But if you wanted to go back and review, you could do that. And there are videos on Connect. So the majority of you are already familiar with the online um, system where you will submit your homework and your exams. But if you aren't, if you're new to my class, then I would suggest that you go in and um, review some of these short videos on connect okay and then there's some information about me all right so under the course documents link i've handed out both of these documents to you but if for some reason you lost your schedule or your syllabus or you just needed to access it then you can open it up from this website the syllabus oh i'm in the wrong class we're in uh hold on this is my 201 class Okay, so um, this is the syllabus that I've handed out to you. So I wanted to point out this first part on how you're going to contact me if you have any questions, because I know this is a new format 
for almost all of you, <laughs> all except for two. So there is something called Blackboard IM. And right now, I don't think anybody in the class has downloaded it. Let me see. Okay, 202, oh, H1. Okay, Hannah. Is that this class, 201? No, okay, that's 201. Let's see, 202, H1. It's not, I've had some problems with this. Let me see. Oh, yeah, okay, that's why. Because nobody currently has downloaded Blackboard IM in this class. All right, so I'm actually going to offer you extra credit points for doing this by Thursday at 10 p.m. Okay, I want to see everybody's name listed here. Currently, ACC 202-57H1 has zero. This is an IM, Blackboard IM, so it's a chat where if I'm online, which I will be online on a regular basis, and on Thursdays when you know we would normally be meeting. And so I want everybody to download this so that when I'm over here, I'll see a list of everybody's name. You can see my uh, CIT 170 class. I've got the most in there right now. It's only four. But all you have to do is click on that person. No one else is online right now, but there'll be a green dot for when you see me online or any other um, student in the class. And all you have to do is double click it and it'll open up a chat. So if you have any questions, all you have to do is just type it in there. Okay, you can also use um, the discussion board in Blackboard, which I will check on a regular basis. Okay, so I want to see everybody's name in here by 10 p.m. on Thursday. And I'll put an announcement out that I'm offering an extra credit point <laughs> for downloading this by Thursday at 10 p.m. Okay, now I have instructions on how to do that. Let's see. Oops, go back in here. Okay, if you click where it says Blackboard IM and then just click here and you can step through the um, downloading process. If you click on the link that says Office Hours, right here, I have a video. It's extremely simple. You probably won't need it, but if you want to watch it before you download it, that's fine. So go into Office Hours and click on Blackboard IM Instruction Video and watch that video and just download it. Now, you, I don't think it's going to work in this room. I think you have to do it on your own computer, okay? so. Um, it seems like someone tried to do it last semester in here and it wasn't working, so hopefully everybody has their own computer somewhere at home <laughs> and um, you can download this. All right, any questions so far about this? Yeah. It, I don't know, but I would think it would be. Yeah, I would think so, hopefully. Did you, do you have a Chromebook? Okay. Yeah. Uh, really? What programs don't work? Uh, really? Okay. Do you have, um, I mean, have you tried to access Blackboard? Okay. Then I would think, if Blackboard works, then I would think it would work. Okay. All right. You're going to have to grab. All right, so while we're in the office hours, I was going to come back to this, but since we're in this area, these are the ways that you can contact me when we're not in class, okay? Blackboard IM, which I just talked about. The discussion board, which everybody is, should be familiar with, and if not, after the first assignment, you will be. Um, the course email, and Blackboard Collaborate, and I have instructions I have a video also on um, Blackboard Collaborate. Okay, so if there's something that we can't really handle via chat, I can open up or I can create a room 
online for us to go in and I can pull up, um, you, I can give you access to my computer, well not everything on my computer, but um, to you know documents on my computer I can pull up on my screen or I can actually give you control where you can pull up something on your screen. But basically probably what I would do is pull up the hints document because most likely you know that's what you have a question about something on the homework. So I can pull up the hints document and then you can, you know, we can um, talk, just regular talking. <laughs> if, you know, you need a headset or a computer where your voice, you know, with a speaker, okay, or a headset. And then we can, you know, talk that way if we need to. All right, so those are the ways that you can get in touch with me if you have any questions um, about anything, basically. All right, the course description, this is an introduction to the use of um, accounting data within an organization to analyze and solve problems and to make planning and control decisions. So this class is different from last semester in that this is more of a managerial perspective. So there are still debits and credits, so if you like them, <laughs> we'll still have some of those. But that's not the main point. Um, I mean, it is, but it's not completely the main focus. So the main focus is providing information to users within the company. And so we will have journal entries, but we'll also have different um, schedules and reports and um, variant like budgets and, and different things like that that um, that you'll learn how to um, use in this chapter. So 201 is a requirement for this course. I'm assuming you've had 201. Okay. And, all right. So the text, I, everybody should have the text. And the text comes packaged with a code where you will complete your homework in Connect, your homework and exams and all assignments. Um, when you go into the first time you access um, Connect from within Blackboard, for the, the two who are new, it will, I have a video on it as well on how to register. But you will have to register. Okay, for everybody else, all you need to do is to provide the email address that you used when you initially registered, whether it's your the school address or whatever address it was, and you're already in the system. So all you have to do to remind it or to you know let Connect know that you are in the system is to provide that initial email address that you used. Okay, if you have any problems registering, um, McGraw Hill has a help desk, and they're really good at you know, helping you, and if you, I would just call them, and, you know, this might be a little bit busier week for them because a lot of schools are starting this semester, but you shouldn't have to wait very long if you do have any issues, okay? And if you do, then also you can let me know, but most likely you're going to need to call um, McGraw-Hill to get the, whatever the problem is straightened out. Oh, it is. No, I'll show you. Well, I'll show you what you're going to do. And in fact, I have that big um, assignment instructions document that explains how to do everything. But basically, what you're going to do is when you go into the class and go into chapter homework, click on first assignment. And then when you, the first time you click on this one, it says sample assignment, it will step you through. But yeah, but don't do it. Yeah, because. You need to read through <laughs> the documents first. Yes, yes. That's where it, that will step you through the registration process. And I have a video on how to register at Connect also. So you can watch the video. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Yeah, but again, you can watch the video that I have also. If you go into, um, see this video right here? This is how to register at Connect. You can watch that. It's under the first assignment link. Yeah, 
you might want to watch. It's only a few minutes, so you might want to watch that one first. It's under the first, yeah, when you go into the first, when yeah, this one, first assignment. Okay, so I pulled there first, but not now. But right, when you get ready to register. Right, right. And you can watch that video first, which is in that link. Um, <laughs> it's up to you. I mean, I think it'd be worth it. I, I took the time to make the video, so I'm hoping it'll help somebody. <laughs> All right. Well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. Okay. All right. Next part of the syllabus um, are the important dates. So um, we do have spring break. That is an important date this semester. And then the different dates to receive a refund, so 100%, 50%. And then the last dates to withdraw also are included here. OK, and then the next part is the withdrawal procedures. So hopefully no one will have to um, do that. But if you do, then just make sure you follow those instructions. OK, attendance. So. Um, other than today, I'm not going to be taking attendance, but I need to make sure everybody you know, was on, that was in here is on the roster. Um, but I would strongly encourage you to be here for every class, in-person class meeting that we have, and then utilize the Blackboard IM or discussion board if you have questions when we're not in class. OK, so homework assignments. There are a total of nine chapters that we will cover in this course. And I have them listed here. This is on page four. So we're going to cover chapters 14, 15, 16, 18, and then 20 through 24. OK, so there are a few that are skipped. Um, and when you see the schedule and then the hints document that I'm going to hand out, you know, if you just follow those, you'll know which chapters that we're covering. OK, the exams are all taken in Connect, just like last semester. There, everything is due according to the schedule by 10 PM, OK, just like last semester. And just to remind you, there is an exam review for every exam. And it's located in the exam link. So you want to make sure that you, you know, download and um, review a copy of the exam review prior to taking the exams. OK, late work is um, gener generally not accepted. Um, if you're past the due date, the link is not active. So if there are extenuating circumstances, then you need to make sure that you let me know so I can reopen the assignment for you. OK, because if you don't let me know and you had a, uh, an issue, the link isn't open unless I open it for you past the due date. OK. And the next section um, describes the different um, Blackboard links. I have added a few since I printed or created this syllabus. The ones that I added are um, my office hours, which are the online office hours, basically, and um, Blackboard Collaborate. OK, and again, Blackboard Collaborate is just an, a place where we could meet virtually in a classroom online, OK? And I have a video on that as well. So you can look through the different uh, resources in the course there. OK, course expectations. Um, basically, you want to log on to Blackboard at least three times a week just to review any announcements um, that I may have and discussion questions that other students may have posted. OK, then you can review the KY, um, the Kentucky Virtual College details. And then I've got information on the online support and help desk. OK, grading. So in this class, you can earn a total of 1,027 points, which now, since I'm offering you a point extra credit for downloading Blackboard IM, then that actually will be 1,028. But you need um, 900 points or above for an A, 800 to 899 for a B, 
okay, et cetera. So it's a 10 point scale. Okay, so the reason you can earn 1,027 is because there are 27 um, extra credit points available. Okay. And the exams are worth, there's four exams worth 100 points each, so that's 400 or 40% of your grade, and the homework is 60% or 600 points. Okay, and then um, I do offer an optional comprehensive final at the end of the semester, which would replace one low exam score. Okay, and then there's a form on here that you can complete at the very end of the semester to see if you would benefit by taking that optional final. Okay, then we have just information on accessing your um, grades in PeopleSoft, the information on cheating and plagiarism, the protocol for complaints, um, information for students with disabilities. If there is anyone in here that has um, some type of uh, disability, you have to contact the Accessibility Resource Center and they contact me. So you don't let me know directly, but they would verify, you know, if there is an issue and then they send a letter to me letting me know what accommodations I need to make. All right, in inclement weather closings. Hopefully we won't have this, but if we do, then follow these, um, the information here. Okay, and then the last part is the course specific learning outcomes. So basically this is what you will learn in this class. And all right, so that's it for the syllabus. Does anybody have any questions on the syllabus? Okay, I know you haven't read through it and I've just briefly gone over it, but you can let me know if you do. Okay. So then we have the schedule. So what I would recommend is writing down these due dates on your own personal calendar, okay? Because there are a lot of things going on in this class. So today we're going over the course and I'm going to hand out all of the items that are listed here. On Thursday, your first assignment is due. Okay, for those of you who had me before, it's basically the same assignment that you had last semester, except there, um, the HINTS document is, only has five questions. This first assignment is only worth 15 points, so it's five for the sample assignment, for registering at Connect in the sample assignment, five for the discussion board, and five for the syllabus agreement. Okay. And so Monday, okay, this is by Monday, you need to watch the recorded lecture for Chapter 14, fill out the, um, what I'm calling the lecture template, which for those of you who had me before, you know how in class um, there was a form that you filled out that I gave you. Okay, I'm going to give you that same form. I will hand it out to you in class. You don't have to print it. If you're not here, then you will need to print it. Um, but I'm going to give you the one today for Chapter 14. So while you're watching the lecture, there will be points in the lecture where you have to fill something out. Okay, and I'm going to give you that form. You're going to fill it out while you're watching the lecture, just like you did in class. And then when you come into class on Tuesday, I will give you the answers, okay? So it'll be similar to what we did. It's just that you'll be watching the lecture outside of class. Okay, also on Monday, learn smart. So for those of you who had me before, remember I had learn smart as extra credit, and I didn't have a lot of people doing it. <laughs> and I really feel that you will benefit from doing it. So it's required this semester. So what, what happens is the amount of credit that you would earn on your homework has been reduced so that LearnSmart is required. So it's still 50 points, or I'm sorry, this one is um, 70 points because you have fewer chapters than you did in 201. But it's split between LearnSmart and homework, okay? 
So everyone uh, will complete Learn Smart by um, the date listed on the schedule. So the first one is due by Monday. Okay, <laughs> well, you'll learn it this time. And I have videos on it too. So it is, um, they're, they're called probes. So they're flashcard type questions um, that when, the, when it first comes up, and you can watch a video before you do it the first time, it'll give you a question and it will say, do you know the answer? Or do you think you know the answer? So you're gonna say, yes, I definitely know that. I'm, I think I do, or um, the other two are, you know, probably not, or definitely no. So you just say your confidence level on if you think you know the answer. That I usually just click the second one. <laughs> but you can earn like a standing. And I think a few didn't, weren't you? Do, yeah, okay. I know I had a couple people who were doing it, using it last semester. So you actually can um, see your standings within this class, and I think nationally as well. I think, yeah, everyone is using this particular textbook. So, and then um, the card flips over and you see that same question and you answer it. And then you get, if you answer it correctly, you move on to the next one. If you answer it incorrectly, you'll still move on, but eventually you may get that question again or something similar. Okay, now I have them set to, so that it should take you about um, 20 minutes, okay? So what you want to do, and I'll go over the procedures again, the classroom procedures in a few minutes, but you want to read the chapter first so you have some familiarity you know, with the material, then do Learn Smart, because otherwise it's going to take you longer. You can still do it. You can get through all of them. Even if you're looking up the answers, you can do it. It's just going to take you longer. So you know, everybody works differently. Um, you know, obviously, you can have your book there, so when the question comes up, if you're not sure, you can look it up. But obviously, if you already know it, it's not going to take as long. So it just depends on how you learn better. I would suggest reading the chapter first. Yes, you can earn um, 15 points. Yeah. Um, you, no, you can't, yeah, I mean, you can't. No, no, you can just keep, if, as long as you keep going until you get all the questions right, you'll get full points. The only time you wouldn't get full points is if you just quit. Yeah, like if you, if you answer all the questions that it gives you, then you will get full points. But you can't go back and do it. I think you need to do it pretty much all at one time. Yeah, but, but you can go back and review it. You just wouldn't get extra, you wouldn't get all the points. But in it, I think you do. You can. I mean, I prefer that you just do it. Yeah, I'll show you how I prefer you do it. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, but. Oh, good. Okay, because you can always let me know too if you have a problem like that. Oh, for Learn Smart, you can. Okay, good. Oh, good. And you still got all the points. I got gotcha. you. Okay, so good. So you can, you can. I mean, again, I would suggest going through the whole thing, but you, if that doesn't work for you, then yeah, then you can. Okay. No, no, no time limit on on any, the exams. There's a time limit, but none of the other assignments. No time. However long you want. I mean, hopefully not. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. In the exams, it's one class period, so an hour and 15 minutes. That's right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And I'm going to, I'll show you all that. So for this Thursday, the first assignment is due. Okay. And all of the information is in the assignment instructions document that I've handed out. If you had me last semester, it's basically the same as the assignment you completed last semester. On, for um, Monday, a week from yesterday, you're going to have watched the recorded lecture, complete the template that I'm going to hand you, and do Learn Smart. So all of that will be done before we come into class on Tuesday. On Tuesday, we will, there's actually a, a Lego assignment that you're going to do. 
Okay, it's a group assignment, and it is worth 25 points. So you definitely want to be here on Tuesday, okay, because that's worth 25 points. So there are um, some group assignments that you're going to do in class, and then after the group assignment, then you can start working on your homework. Okay, so I can help you with any questions you have on your homework. Yeah, there's actually three. Yep, there's three um, interspersed throughout the semester, yes. So then next Thursday, so a week from this Thursday, you'll have um, the extra credit and the Chapter 14 homework assignment is due. So basically the homework assignment and the extra credit will be due on the same day, right? And the watching the recorded lecture and Learn Smart are going to be due the same days. Okay, so you'll have two and two basically. The extra credit is um, something called interactive presentations. So basically all you have to do is watch them. But you do have to watch them because there are some questions that will come up. But as long as you're watching them, you will get the points. Okay, so you're going to watch the, re the interactive presentation. They're not going to be that long. I, um, I'd have to go back and review, but I'm thinking maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, so um, I'm talking about the extra credit. Yeah, there's something called interactive presentations, and they're also in Connect. Okay, so you're just going to watch them. You, they'll present a topic, and then um, they'll ask you, you know, a question. You just answer the question. So you all can also – I'll appreciate any feedback after you kind of get started in this new mode to let me know how things are going. Okay, so I'm not going to go over all the schedule, but I just want to point out that if I were you, I would write down the due dates or keep the schedule really handy because you don't want to miss, you know, any of the assignments. Okay, so the extra credit is worth um, – I have it in parentheses because it's worth three points. You don't have to do the extra credit, but if you want to, I would I would recommend them because you can look at those three points. Well, for the first chapter, I mean, I'm sorry, the first exam, it's over two chapters. So if you do both of the extra credit points, then that would be an extra six points that you could kind of add on to your exam score, okay, just for watching through the presentation. No, the Learn Smart is now required, and those are the flashcards. Yeah. Right, they're, yes. Any what? Um, no quizzes. No, no quizzes. Just homework, <laughs> Learn Smart, extra credit, <laughs> and exams. Yeah, I mean, I do have exams. Okay, so there are some extra resources. If you click on the extra resources link, there is um, – did anybody try this last semester, BrainFuse? It's actually a free tutoring service. So, um, you know, if you, you might want to check that out. Let's see. So then uh, the chapter homework, which I've already mentioned. So there's a different folder for every chapter and all the information you need within each chapter. I'll, cho I'll select Chapter 14. So the HINTS document I will hand out to you in class, which I'm going to give you today. Um, this is a PowerPoint that you can watch. Under the Videos link, this is where you'll watch the recorded lecture. So anywhere it says Recorded Lecture, okay, that's what you're going to watch. That's my presentation of the chapter. Okay, now I have other videos out here, but the one that you are required to watch for class, make sure it's the one – you're clicking on the one that says Recorded Lecture. Okay, and up here at the top, this says Recorded Lecture Template. I'm going to hand those out in class, but if for some reason you aren't here, that's where you're going to get that. Okay, 
this, the recorded lecture template is the form you will complete while you're watching the video. Okay, and again, I will hand that in class. As long as you're in class, I will give that to you. All right, this is a video on how to input answers at Connect for 202. So before you complete your first homework assignment, you can watch this video. It's six minutes. Okay, so this is a video I created so that you know how to input your answers at Connect. Okay, recorded lecture for Chapter 14. Okay, the rest of these videos are all just additional videos that I've found on YouTube. So again, the, the main one for this class will always be the one that says recorded lecture. Okay, all right. So let me go back to Chapter 14. So in class, I will hand you the HINTS document, but if you are not here, this is where you will get a copy of the HINTS document. Okay, that is for your homework. That's the template for your homework. Okay, so you can always get it here, or I will hand it out in class. These are the three assignments. Okay, Learn Smart, which again is now required, the flashcards. For chapter 14 homework assignment, okay, which you'll complete the attempt, the uh, hints document first, and the extra credit. Okay, so for every chapter, you'll see these three assignments. No, nothing should be locked. Uh, well, then I'll have to re-upload it. They, they did an update to Blackboard. And every time they always say nothing will change and there will be no problems. There's always a problem. Okay. Now you're talking about this, right? Is this what you're talking about? Yeah, then Oh this one? Oh, the hints document for okay. I, I, okay. Is it not work okay, I'll I'll re upload it. Yeah, I think when they did the um, the update, it did some problem. It, yeah, okay, I'll I'll fix that. If you ever see anything like that, you're trying to access something and it's not working, please let me know. But yeah, I'm gonna hand that to you in class, but I'll fix the link as well. Um, Learn Smart is what was extra credit last semester, and it is the flash electronic flashcards. Okay, so then we have the discussion board. Okay, so right now there are actually seven people who went ahead and looks like, or six, because I think I'm one of them, who completed the first part of the first assignment. So getting to know you, that's what you will use um, for one part of your first assignment. I have course questions, exam questions, and then a separate discussion board for every chapter. So if you have questions about anything, make sure that you use the correct um, discussion board, you know, for that particular chapter. Okay, here is course email. So this is email just within Blackboard. Okay, so if there's something that, um, if there's a course question on, um, you know, a homework question, I prefer the discussion board or if you want to do the IM chat. If there's something, you know, a little more uh, private that you don't want everybody to see, then you can use the email, okay, because that will be just to me. Discussion board is where everybody can see it. Okay, under the exam link, you will see the exams and an exam review. Okay, so make sure that you um, download the exam review for each exam. Okay, then this office hours link I've already um, shown you. So this is the main way that you will get in touch with me when we're not in class. Um, Blackboard IM, Blackboard Collaborate. Okay, so right now there aren't any rooms. I will create a room if, you know, you have um, any questions. So the uh, room is can be for everybody, anybody who wants to come. So if someone has a question, 
about something or if, if I mean I can schedule it in advance too if there's something you know you you definitely know you need help on or whatever I can create the room and and what will happen is it'll show up right down here right now there aren't any but if I schedule a um, session it'll show up right here so you'll go into Blackboard Collaborate you'll see it listed right here and then you just click the link and um, you'll it'll launch you into the room okay all right so my grades is whoops I'm not sure why I think it just hasn't loaded yet because there should be something here has anyone pulled up this does it look like this okay yeah it's it should load with I'm not sure why mine isn't loading <laughs> but it should list all the assignments here okay all right and then um, there's actually a calendar that I'm using um, I don't know I had this last semester too I think in this class but I don't know how many people utilize it but you can see um, Mine looks really busy because it's not showing just this class, it's showing all of my classes, and yours may do that too, but there is a way to select um, if you just want to show the one class, so you can deselect um, the other ones. And things are running really slowly here, so, but uh, the point is that all of your assignments will be listed here as well, but I would still suggest that you put them in your own calendar just you know because there are so many different things that we're doing all right any questions before I go over the general class procedures okay so in chapter homework under first assignment the assignment instructions document this is the large document that I've handed out to you so even though you've had me previously, I still want you to read through everything in the assignment instructions document. Okay. So this list, how to do everything basically in this class. And if you pull it up online, these are links. Obviously, it's the one I hand you in person, you won't be able to use that way. But if you look at it online, you can um, control click and go, you know, directly. I've set them up as um, links in the table of contents. All right, so at the end of that document, I've listed the general class procedures. So the order that you should do things. So number one, begin by reading each chapter in the text. Second, watch the recorded lecture. Okay, and I have the links on how to get to everything, a little icon here for that also. Okay, so each chapter recorded lecture has an associated recorded lecture template, which I will hand, you out, hand out to you in class. So you will complete the template while you're watching the recorded lecture. Okay, and this is a link, I mean, how to get to the recorded lecture template, which I showed you already. But again, if you're in class, you will get them in class. Okay, then complete the Learn Smart assignment. So that's worth 15 points. Okay, so after you've uh, read the chapter and watched the recorded lecture, then you're ready to complete Learn Smart. Okay, then you can start working on your homework. We will have time in class, and that's one of the main things we will do in class is work on the homework assignment. Okay, so there are some other activities that you're going to um, complete in class, but the main, um, mostly what you'll be doing in class will be working on your homework assignment. So I can help you, you know, with any questions that you have on your homework. Okay. And again, I will hand out the HENTS document in class. So you will, this is the way that I prefer. Um, Complete the HINTS document. It's just a template where you put your answers for the homework um, assignment. After you've completed it, then log on to Connect. And all you're doing at that point is just typing your answers in at Connect. 
Okay, so you don't have to do it that way. And I know I had students last semester who didn't, who just went straight into Connect to do their homework. But one of the main reasons that I like you to complete the HENCE document prior to going into Connect is because I have check figures listed and I have other information that will help you with your homework. Okay, so definitely if no, for no other reason than the check figures, you will see on the HENCE document. So that'll make sure that you're on track. And if you have everything completed in your HENCE document, when you log on to Connect, um, it's only gonna take you maybe 15 minutes at the most, probably, to just type your answers in. Okay, and then you'll see your score after you submit it. Okay, and so then this list um, that you can use the discussion board for your questions or again the Blackboard IM, okay, which I want you to download. And then uh, complete the extra credit assignment by watching the interactive presentation. So all you have to do is click the extra credit link um, to access the interactive presentations. Okay, and then complete exams according to the course schedule and read and follow the how to succeed section in the assignment instructions. So basically um, what you want to do for before Thursday is read through everything that I've given you and complete the first assignment. Okay, everything is detailed in the assignment instructions document. All right, any other questions right now? Well, that's just an example. That's just, yes. Right, I mean, not this Thursday, but the next Thursday. Right, this Thursday, it's just the first assignment. <laughs> right, but a week from this Thursday, right, the extra credit is due. Yes. Yes. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording, which 